What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to My Heroes. You already know what's happening, man. Well, maybe you don't because maybe something looks a little amiss. Is it the camera? Is it the coloration? Is it the lighting? We're out here in the dungeon, man. We went from the trenches to the dungeon. But all, all we really need to get it out of that is a light. You know, we made that big move, man, across the country. Um, quick recap, just so everyone wants, it was curious. It was a 29-hour adventure of buses and trains. I hit Nashville, Chicago, and where, what the heck else random place was I at? Pittsburgh, all in the same day. It was a mess, but you know, we, hey, Union Station, Chicago, gorgeous uh, architecture. But here we are, man, chilling new location out here in the out here in the the wilderness honestly it's kind of beautiful more tame uh gotta get the lighting set up gotta get the whole setup going but if you're new to the channel just wanted to give you a little bit of a you know it ain't always gonna look like this and it ain't always has but also if you have been uh, kicking it with the channel and i got uh you already saw the phone you already know what type of video this is about to be if you're not new to the channel if you are whatever the case may be we got a code kind of ch mm, chilling you saw the title man you know i ain't gonna hide it or nothing like that is down in the description if that's all you're here for but i hope that ain't all you're here for because i'm about to spit some wisdom like i'm known to do shout out to the devs by the way because i haven't hit them up once you know i, I i've been kind of slacking on the whole marketing game on this one because it's kind of just marketing itself i love you guys but they hit me up and they were like, hey, the, 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 you know, we like what you do. And I'm like, hey, uh, I like the game. So they hit you guys up with the code. It doesn't give me anything, but here's the deal. The more of us that use it, the more codes I can give out. So, like, if you guys are trying to get more codes, uh, what do you say we kind of use it up? You know what I'm saying? I already used it, so why not? But... That being said, we got a top 10 tips video, man. We got to kick it off. You know, I, I want to I wanna kick it off with a little bit of, like, what brought a lot of people here. And then kind of move on from there. What do you say we talk a little bit about the weapon and the new soul card tomorrow? Because, <laughs> let me tell you something, we're going to have a new weapon tomorrow. But today, I want to kick it off. I'm back to the roots on uh, the biggest video on this channel right now as far as this game goes. By the way, we look different too. Did I talk about that? It doesn't matter, man. Top 10 tips that didn't make the cut. However, some of these are things that I kind of recently started doing. And some of these are things that just didn't fit the bill for the beginner or the advanced that kind of fit somewhere else but they're insanely important to talk about maybe they've popped up once in a different video but we got to combine them as we go man we got to sometimes all anyone cares about are the top tens and i care about all of y'all so what do you say we kick it off with number one that was a long enough intro you need three different characters of three different elements on your server now people used to tell me i was dumb to the point where it was offensive for wanting to put three different characters on the same server and here's the deal all of a sudden this exists right now i know i know you can do different builds and you can like uh, tediously min max a bunch of different builds for the same character and blah 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 it's not practical anymore man there's people that are just stubborn you can't convince me it's practical man i've done the numbers man i've run it i've run it through it, it gone through the computer the calculator the whatever that thing is with the things that go up and down that the dude pulled out in hercules and it looked like he was kind of dealing drugs or was that someone that was dealing sand dials i don't remember man but either way it's way more practical now all of a sudden to have three characters of three different elements plus it's way more fun but this is the entire reason it's now a necessity to have multiple elements in the first place check me out you can't do anything but the element you're good against in this. I I promise you, man, wherever you're at in the game, you're probably not even doing your own element. I, I can't even do the first floor right now. And for those of you who are curious, this is coming up real soon. We are in top rank in Arena. So you need three different characters, three different elements to really blow through that. You can tediously change your gear around 24-7 and have lackluster builds in some of the elements. And you're aware that you probably do. But maybe it makes you sleep better at night that you stuck to your guns and only put it on a different account so you could have the beginning rewards while, you know, all the XP and everything else kind of comes slower and slower and slower and you're kind of starting from scratch on every account and also there's no point because you can't do anything with them on the same. Just put them on the same server. What, what, are, you, what are you doing with all your XP, bro? What, what, what are you doing with all the... Either way, that's tip number one. Plus, it helps you with riffs. It helps you with riffs, right? <laughs> I don't know. Number two do weekly challenges and arena or in arena in arena so hear me out real quick the game has like a one to two hour a day time you know the time requirement if you want to min max you really want to like push and push and push and just go crazy with it 
and get as high up as you can. Two hours a day past the initial like two or three days is all you really need to really continue being irrelevant, if that makes any sense. Is that being said, you can kind of hurt yourself by just running this left, right, and center. If you do your weekly challenges and you buy the things that you want out of the metal shop, you're kind of chilling, man, and it can change day by day. So I usually get the weapon tokens. Sometimes I get the effigies. Sometimes I get the element crystals if I'm in the middle of making boss moves, which we just did recently. But do your weekly challenges. Save yourself some time. Save yourself some heartache. As long as you're not getting demoted, who cares, man? You know, I just run them and see where we're at. And we are in Apex Masters, if that tells you anything. But, you know, sometimes that ain't a flex, man. Maybe you're in... Maybe you're in what comes after Apex? I don't know, man. Apex 2. Hey, man. You, know, you heard it here first. But, number three. Save your soul hunter attempts. You know what I'm saying? And let me show you those some. We got uh, this over here. Soul Hunter. Rewards. If you aren't aware, there are rewards that are just guaranteed. Now, if these cycle, I can't just remember. I actually don't know. I don't think they do. I don't know if they have, but there are mass rewards that happen on the weekend. You get all of these cards possible to you. And if you do them on this day, you will have your chance to get any of these. Now, if you do them on, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, it does tighten the pool for what you can possibly get that being said and you have a much higher chance of getting mythics over anything else on a friday saturday or sunday but you do have everything available to you period now if you want something specifically go ahead and run them on monday tuesday wednesday thursday right it lowers the pool you're going to be getting more copies of what you're looking for and that probably means you're going to get a better card at the end of the day you're probably going to get a better thing of what you want if you don't care what you want right now, you're just looking, you're just doing it, whatever the case may be, run them on Sunday, but you can save up to 20 of these attempts, you get 5 a day, you have 4 days worth that you can save up and use when the heck ever. I would suggest doing so. Now number uh, 4, buy out items in the EX shop, my guy, hear me out real quick. Over here, if you take a look at anything, maybe Onslaught is your new favorite item and you're like, man, I really need this thing right now, but for also, don't just drop this unless you're psychotic. Why would you ever do that? I have no idea, but just say you want this. Now, what you really want is to save yourself some of your other resources. These are a lot easier to come by, especially because of the Astral Dungeon. You can get these so easily, it's insane right now. The Astral Dungeon throws these at you and they're worth picking up. I promise you until you just don't want anything else anymore where you're at. That being said, max it out, buy it out, get your, what is it, 30 items? Is see if you can get really good rolls on the rune slots, because rune slot min-maxing, well, we're gonna get to right now, but you need, you just make sure you're getting four rune slots at the very least, and if you can get them to be anywhere near what you're looking for as far as rune color goes, you're even better off, and you saved yourself a lot of element crystals just using mm, rage tokens. I'm a big fan of it. I say buy all 30 every single time. No big deal. Now, number uh, five, smell and reforge are your best friend in the secret dungeon. I promise you. This is a tame one, man. They're about to get less tame, but this one had to be tame, but also kind of a reminder because a lot of people don't use these two functions as well as they should. I know they're behind my head, but smell and reforge. Hear me out. I'm selfish right now. I'm in a very selfish mode right now. I am in the point where I'm going to be taking all of my whatever the max you know dungeon is that I'm at 147 it looks like I'm going to be putting that in the smelter and I'm going to be taking anything that I don't care about anything that's lower than max throwing it on in and honestly to be picking a fire key instead to be real with you and just to make sure that it's uh, going to give me the element that I want sometimes it doesn't even matter but we can go ahead and smell it it just it kind of weights it I'll level with you see we got a we got a water one there now yeah, I'm moving everything up to mythic because I'm looking for these weapon shards. I'm looking for everything like everything you know, weapon shards are the big reason they're, they're the big reason um, And beyond that, I'm just kind of stealing other people's keys out of here if I want sanguinite anything like that But these are like sanguinite and hammond stone farmers and then after that they're like, you know You get abyss chest, but honestly who cares at this point and for a lot of people if you still care about the abyss chest where you're at yeah, keep running them, keep running them, but I, w I don't run my own because I'm that guy right now. I'm just, you know, I'm stealing other people's blues and purples and yellows, and I'm only running up mythics on mine if I can afford to. Now, Reforge, 
Make sure you're getting yourself cool stuff, man. 80% hammer stone, 50% weapon shard, 60% uh, sanguinite. Make sure you're doing these. 140% hammer stone. Make sure you're reforging, getting better stuff out of this, and making the most out of every key that you use. That's what I'll say right there. And that's all I gotta say about Secret Dungeon. Make sure you're using those functions because they're huge, man. They're gonna get you what you need. Now, number six, placeholder cards. This is something that a lot of people don't want to bite the bullet and admit that sometimes you have to do it. You see these 15s in here? None of these 15s are going to be sticking around. You might see a problem with this guy. You probably noticed immediately this dude chilling. This is a wood element card. I'm a fire ninja. Now, that being said, he's fire attack and he's plus 15. He is a 7 a cost, which is really good for a fire attack stat. It's higher than a 5 cost would be. So, he's kind of chilling as a placeholder until I can finally, for once, get an Inferno Fiend to do its thing. My Inferno Fiend luck has been horrible. I need one, just one roll of an Inferno Fiend to chill right there. That's what I'm looking for, man. And until then, he's going to be chilling in that place and giving me fire attack. And that's it. Now, this dude over here was a bad roll, man. What can I say about it? He got water attack blown up, a little fire attack, slide attack is chill. But mm, we didn't get the stars that we needed. He's chilling for now because it's actually annoying to even get blues, and I can put a different one in a different slot anyways. There's four slots for them, but they usually don't come with all of their substats showing, which is why they are harder to max out sometimes, even when there's only two or three stars available, and sometimes some four stars can be tough, man. But, you know, these lower rarity ones, they these lower cost ones, I should say, they don't like to come with all four substats a lot of the time. Plus, blues, for some reason, can be harder to come by, and I know you can attest to this, than any other color period, and you need four of them. So, placeholders, especially for blues, but sometimes for anything, is fine. You don't, they don't always have to be endgame while you're working towards endgame. That's my advice there. We're gonna talk about this card eventually, man. We're gonna talk about her maybe next episode, maybe with the weapon along with it, man. We'll see, but... I got, I got some stuff to say about it. That's what I'll say about that, man. But number seven, gem rare stats. Hear me out, man. We talked about this. We talked about this. Someone actually uh, showed me some in uh, the comments that helped me out a little bit, but it is something I actually didn't notice. But here we go, man. The the rare stats. Now, if you're the one who showed me this, you already know what you showed me. And if you didn't show me this, you, you probably don't know, and we're trying to keep it that way, man. We're trying to save face around here, but check me out. These have a rare stats, and they tell you what they are right here when you click on them. When you star them up, it tells you what you're going to get. Counter boost, fire suppression, fire attack, nasty, attack, enhanced cro... We, ain't, we don't say this because demonetization. Susan, what the heck is that word? And counter boost. Okay, you know what? Let's go to something that's normal. Rare stat, wood attack, versus shield and attack. You pay attention to these because these are as important as passives are on gear. That's basically what they do. Rare, you need to know what you're going to be building towards or maybe just don't build towards them. That's my advice is there. Uh, these are very much like soul cards in the fact that you can get bunk ones even if the main stat is solid. Even if the color is solid. Even if the rarity or the actual crystallis itself is solid. That's all I'll say about that. Pay attention to the rare stats. They might tell you if you want one or not. Now, number eight, sweep the floor after you fail a rift. Come with me, man. Come with me. Let's talk a little something, man. We gotta take Tango on. We'll do so, but every time that I uh, fail at hitting that 3 minute 30 second timer, if I know I'm not gonna do it, I don't even go into the boss room. I sweep the floor of everything I saw along the way to get to him. If I think I can do it, I take him on, and once he's finally dead, if I failed it, whatever the case may be, I'll grab the chest, and, you know, I'll, you know, but I'll still go sweep the floor. Now, here's why. If you are running... Over and over and over, you say you run to the boss, failed, run to the boss, failed, run to the boss, failed, run to the boss, failed. It takes two energy every time you do an empty room to give you runes, and you will run out of energy trying to over and over take on some of these rifts. Sometimes they're just that tanky. This 146 was insanely tanky, and it took me a lot of tries, and then 147 easy mode, it flew right through it, like first try. Sometimes they're like that, sometimes your build just ain't it for it. So make sure that, you know, if you run through it, you're using your energy for the chest, you're using it for the shrines, you're using it for whatever the case may be, and then getting the ox runes by default just when they come. Don't waste all your energy on ox runes. Make sure you're farming while you're doing it. That's why you're in the rifts in the first place. Make sure that energy goes to good use. You don't hit zero before you open a single chest or a single shrine or anything. You catch my drift? 
make sure you make the most of your time, man. Otherwise, you're just swimming in ox runes and gold. And, like, you know, it's chill, but you probably wish you had anything else sometimes, you know? Either way, man. Either way, especially, like, that's probably why you aren't doing a lot of expeditions anymore past a certain point. So make sure you're doing it, man. Sweep the floor if you fail it. Now, number nine, Tengu and Pangu, man. Tengu and Pangu. That is the tip of the hour. I almost don't even care what your build is. I want to let you guys know, this is my opinion. Now, of course, right, it's a single-player game. I say it all the time, but this is also a tips video, right? I say it all the time. This is a single-player game. Build what's fun to you and make it work. That's the best way to play the game. That's why my gear guide is how to build, not what to build, because honestly, there's so many characters, so many builds, and so many viable ways that we're going to bring to kind of a fun little competition soon. But I will say, I do fully believe Bartender, Penguin, and Tengu are two of the best pets in the game right now. Two of the hardest to swap out. Hear me out why. Tengu will boost you by millions of DPS immediately. I was using the exact same upgraded level. This man was 22. We moved Tengu up to 22 on video. Oh, dude, I, it, it's Belial, man, but Belial was 22. Ooh, she's the fire offense character. I'm a fire ninja. We went up like 7 million DPS just swapping over to Tengu before we even start him up. It was immaculate. It, he makes you hit so much harder. It's ridiculous. I'm a huge fan of this pet. Massive in Bartender Penguin. Frees up your kit like nobody else. You have no issues with mana for the rest of your life. The rest of you will, and you have to be someone that constantly uses like has skills that are constant, like the water mage, something like that, to start having issues to where you need other compensation. Most characters will never run out of mana with this bartender, and even then, if you are a character that is dropping mana and you need more supplementation, the bartender penguin fits in perfect with all of that, anyways. Man, I never run out of mana ever. I spam skills on short cooldowns. He's why he frees up my entire build to not need any kind of mana regen whatsoever on my character in specific, Fire Ninja. He's goaded, and the freedom of what you can do with your build is why he's so important. Uh, it's just ridiculous, man. He, you can spam out with him. Pangu and Tangu, bro. Pangu and Tangu. Now, number 10. This one right here hits home. Let me tell you something, man. Min Max your rune slots now this is something that should have been in the advanced tips and it didn't make the cut i have to tell you right now because obviously there's all levels of players playing right now there's so many people that just found the game there's so many people that have been playing for a very long time there's so many people this that and the other thing min max your rune slots hear me out on why that could possibly be now for the longest time video after video after video i've been trying to use lateral skip I've been begging to use lateral skip. I want it so bad, but I couldn't get all three of these to be a semi color. And I had been using this right here, which was now I knew I'd get a big DPS boost once I swapped, but I wouldn't have 800 rune energy. So I couldn't make it happen. I'd drop DPS if I didn't have it all the way up. If I couldn't get, if I had to have this with like one green or one blue, one of these would have to be flat colored as well you need to min max before you swap an item over before i swap anything into these slots i need to make sure at this point that they have all red period there's no other way around it right now you need as much flexibility to put other stuff on so you need as much min max of what color they are and unify that color with every move that you make try and make it more red and more red and more red if you're fire more blue and more blue and more blue if you're and keep pushing towards that until you have that 800 energy and then keep it above that 800 energy with everything you've got in you my next move i want calm on right now i want it real bad that 100 percent or that crit damage plus 100 is boosted hear me out man hear me out where's crit damage at that's going to be a disgusting we're going to be looking at massive damage period big damage how do i do it and especially because this thing right here is big but it don't work all the time you know it's inconsistent i know i'm gonna get more consistent damage out of calm i need to get the rune colors perfect that's all there is to it. i need to get the rune colors flat or i need to get these ones over one of these to be flat make sure you're doing that when you're making your moves happen is more important than how good the passive is past a certain point 
make sure you can make it pop. Once you do, love your life. I boosted up, I believe, what was it, six million? Was it six million? Six million uh, DPS with one swap, but it took so much to get there with getting those rune colors. It's important, man. And that is it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for bearing with me for the days and days and days that I've been gone. I believe we missed three days. Yikes. But we're back on full force. Got all kinds of first impressions dropping. No, this one ain't going nowhere, man. We're just getting codes now, man. We got cloud all of a sudden, bro. We're boosted. We're in the... We're in the... I mean, we, we've we been the community like us. But here we are, man. Making it happen. Thanks so much for watching. Um, Next video, probably the new weapon probably soul card uh, show off because there's a new soul card and i love soul cards they are my new addiction you know we'll see what's happening man we'll see what's happening but until then thank you so much for watching thank you so much for taking it with me in the dungeon still kind of a good time i love you guys i'll see you in the next one peace out